Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and I recommend you as usual to stop video here, uh, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can uh, run video again and you can compare uh, your answer with my answer and explanation. So here's the first question, 0.1% uh, frequency of recombination is observed and here's the five answers to choose from, answer A only in sex chromosomes and this is not correct answer because sex chromosomes uh, obey normal rules if it is for example two X chromosomes if it is X and Y chromosome then uh, uh, frequency of recombination would be zero because these two chromosomes are too different and uh, the genetic makeup is very different and uh, they are only homologous in small part that would uh, let them to line up and make a pair during uh, meiosis and mitosis. So um, answer B only on genetic maps of viral chromosomes and this is also uh, incorrect answer because viral genomes consist of one chromosome it can be uh, circular or uh, linear but uh, still, uh, in order to um, recombination to happen or crossing over, we need two chromosomes. Answer C on unlinked chromosomes, and this is also not true because uh, when we have two chromosomes that uh, non homologous, uh, the recombination uh, cannot happen normally even it is uh, not mutation of, of any kind but anyway the number wouldn't be 0.1 percent it would be much much uh, smaller answer d in any two genes on different chromosomes and we can cross out this answer also because uh, uh, the frequency of segregation uh, would be uh, uh, 50 percent if two genes allocated on the different chromosomes and um, also uh, recombination cannot happen between uh, two uh, non-homologous chromosomes. Answer E in genes located very close to one another on the same chromosome and this is correct answer and here is explanation imagine that we have two uh, chromosomes that is homologous and uh, here we have on one chromosome uh, allele that is dominant on another that is recessive and here we would have uh, another gene that is for example capital B and on other um, chromosomes that is uh, small b or recessive so this is going to be uh, one allelic pair and this is going to be another allelic pair and and we call alleles uh, when one gene have uh, different variants one can be dominant another can be recessive but not necessarily so uh, as you see recombination might happen here in many places and the greater distance between two um, allelic pairs or two genes uh, uh, there are uh, more chances that uh, uh, recombination might happen and uh, imagine that we move this gene B for example here and of course as you see uh, recombination frequency uh, would be greatly reduced because the great distance the more chances that uh, recombination might happen or crossing over and the smaller distance uh, distance uh, the least uh, chances that recombination might happen so uh, next question what does a frequency of recombination of 50 percent indicate and answer A is the two genes likely allocated on the different chromosomes and this is true but let's check the other answers also. Answer B all 
of the offspring have recombinations of uh, traits that match one of the parents and this is not true uh, because this is completely random process and uh, answer C the genes allocated on the sex chromosomes and uh, as I already told uh, sex chromosomes obey normal rules uh, only if this is uh, not X and Y chromosome uh, in this case recombination would be zero and answer D abnormal meiosis has occurred and this is also not true because 50% uh, uh, recombination is uh, uh, what can normally can be observed and answer E independent assortment uh, was hindered and this is also not true because as I already told this is uh, normal numbers and this might happen as we see in answer A uh, when the two genes are likely located on different chromosomes or another explanation can be uh, that uh, two genes are located on the same chromosome but so far apart from each other so probably on the different ages of the chromosome uh, that uh, in this case uh, also recombination frequency would be uh, number very close to 50% but as long as we don't have such an option then answer A would be correct when we have uh, two genes located on the different chromosomes the segregation during meiosis would be 50% so 50% uh, chances that two genes located on the two different non-homologous chromosomes would end up uh, in the same gamete and 50% chances that two um, chromosomes and uh, genes located on those uh, chromosomes would end up uh, in different gametes and this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments if you have any goodbye